back to the 2024 LEGO Speed Champions Grand Prix. It's round two today and we've got a fresh lineup of competitors eager to get started. Will it be enough to dethrone last round's champion, the Mustang Dark Horse? Stick around to find out. But one thing's for certain, this is shaping up to be a monumental year for LEGO Speed Champions. All right, enough pre-race chitter chatter. Let's get out there and meet the competitors. Beginning with... Let's bust open what we can safely call the second F1 Speed Champion set of 2024. You may also know it as the third Aston Martin Speed Champion set. Six bags, two chassis, two manuals, and two hefty sticky boys. Bag one. Here is our Sultan of Safety, who I'm sure will help guide us through the tricky build. Pretty standard Speed Champion set to this point. No crazy builds to highlight. On to bag two. Check out how this build just slots in beautifully. I'm assuming this will be the support for the rear glass, but I've been fooled before. End of bag two, and things are looking and feeling very similar to the old Aston Martin Vantage GT3 set. Also, shout out to my poor lighting situation, giving this car a more accurate color than the actual set. Incredible. On to bag three. I know this rear end is almost identical to the Vantage GT3, but come on, this rules. Pop the windscreen on, and just look how clean this greenhouse is. It's incredible. Slap on the lights, both sides, get the hood on, and bolt up your wheels, and we are done with the safety car. This is a good example of how a few new parts can really refine a build. Final product is really clean, but wrong color. Very wrong color, not even close. Use turquoise, that's terrible. The build actually really reminded me of the C8 Corvette set for better or worse. But enough safety car, let's drop the green flag and let these boys race. On to the AMR 2024. Bag four. Getting started here is the pilot of the AMR 2024. And I'm not a huge F1 fan, but shout out to these branded skid lids, man. End of bag four and board, board, board. It's identical to the MCL 60 from before. Okay, so yeah, it's the exact same build as the McLaren F1 set, but come on, this rear fin build is awesome. And check out this amazing triple print on the nose. But it's the end of bag five and I'm Bored, bored, dull, tedious, annoying. Bag six, mercifully. Chuck on the side pods, a billion more stickers, the beautiful racing mediums, and we have another F1 car in the collection. So I get it. It's going to be a very similar build to the McLaren Formula One car. It was always going to be that way. So if you're a big fan of Formula One, or a big Aston Martin fan, or both, you're probably gonna really like this set. But if you're like me and literally couldn't care less, you may find yourself very bored. But let's not get bogged down on the negatives. Let's get back to the garage and see some more cars. Getting into the box, it's sometimes refreshing to see that classic Speed Champions experience. Two bags, a modest sticker sheet, and some instructions. The recipe for a good time. Here's the minifig. I love the olive green racing suit. People keep saying that this minifigure is meant to be supercar blondie also. Their page is the automotive equivalent of BuzzFeed. It's just 90% garbage. So in my mind, it's somebody else. It's Janet the racing driver. Excellent, much better. Check out these crazy shapes already. The trans blue bricks being used to build up the sides. Very spaceship. 
This awesome Technic build looks like it's gonna be the basis for our cockpit. Some stunning tiny prints for the logo and front suspension. And a bag one and the front is coming together. Also the overall shaping is pretty wild and awesome. On to bag two. Check this out, these exhausts are insane. Drinking game for the word insane. Technique and parts usage wise, peak speed champions. Here's the beginnings of the rear wing. Engine bay is coming together. This sticker sucks ass straight up. But the rear lights are awesome. Slot them between the exhaust and connect the rear wing. Epic. Snap on the windscreen, pop the wheels on, eventually get the driver in their damn seat, and we are done. So concept cars have long been a favorite of mine. They have been capturing my imagination ever since I was a kid. Looking at things like the Cadillac CN, Chrysler ME412, and VW Nardo, just to name a few. The Vision Gran Turismo program has been bringing my childhood fantasies to life, and I just love it for that. It should come as no surprise then that I love this set. When you build it, you can tell that the Speed Champions design team was really pushing the limits of what is possible with Lego bricks for the Lamborghini V12 VGT. Words cannot describe the insane shaping and details here. You really need to see it, or better yet, build it for yourself to appreciate it. The minifigure literally could not sit lower, and that shows this car is actually shorter than the current F1 Speed Champion sets. Absolutely, absolutely incredible set. It's amazing. But enough brown nosing the Lambo. Let's get back to the garage and pick a new set of wheels. Finally, the time has come for the big boy. Let's crack this open. We are treated to six bags, two manuals, two very modest sticker sheets, and this dumb thing. Bag one. Looks like we're doing the SL63 first. Check this out, official Republic Bricks minifig. Absolutely incredible stuff. Love this exhaust work straight away. The whole shaping of this very curvy car is amazing in the rear. I love the printed rear lights with AMG and SL63 on them. Snap in the seats and we are on to bag two. Here's our 6.3 liter bi-turbo handcrafted by Hans Spiegler. Very interesting, I think you'll agree. The build of the front end is pretty cool too. Lots of clips, brackets, of course snot, and even an opening hood, which is mildly entertaining in my opinion. It's fine. If you've built a few speed champions, you won't find much crazy here, nothing new. Front and rear bumpers are great, minimal stickers, and we're back to printed headlights and tail lights, thanks be to the gods. I wish they took the same effort they put into the hood and turned that attention to the windscreen as I feel it just looks a bit off. It's too rounded, too circular, and it kind of makes the whole thing a little cartoony. Kind of, This is going to sound really dumb, but it kind of makes the set look a little toyish, which is silly because it is a toy, but anyway, that's my thoughts. So the SL63 is fine. It's good to get some new parts in yellow, and it's just a pretty fun color overall. The car build is pretty mid to me though, so let's go grab another set of wheels. Bag three. We're on to the third bag and oh my God. Karen has returned for the second time in 2024. The G63 AMG, the premier choice for the entitled soccer mom. I'm sure you will agree. When you see Technic like this, you know we're in for a good time. Things are getting weird and I, for one, am here for it. Beginnings of brick-built fenders coming in. Side exit exhausts are on. The floors are in. Done bag three and check out these fenders. Also jumping junipers. Look at all of these jumpers. I'm finna have a Third Eye Blind Concert right in my Lego set. Wish you would step back from 
<clears throat> anyway, on to bag four. Nothing crazy here, a ton more jumpers, some awesome gunmetal plates, and we put our engine cover on. This one assembled by Carl Friedrich Gauss. Extremely interesting. On to bag five. Putting on the rear end, looking good. The front end build is actually amazing. Upside down build with some Technic printed headlights. Life is sweet. Finally, on to bag six. Clip these windows on on their sides. This, this is a good idea. Good solution by the design team. Coax the roof into position, put the wheels on, and your G-Wagon awaits. This thing is awesome, full stop. I was surprised throughout the build with all the clever build techniques and details. It's great to get a production vehicle that is something other than a sports, super, hypercar, etc. The fact that it has a full interior as well is definitely a bonus. The highlights for me were definitely the fender builds, the front and rear bumpers as well, and the entire chassis. Oh, and did I mention this little unit, nine studs wide, pretty sweet deal. The only thing I didn't love is the shaping on the hood. It looks a little bit too pyramid shaped. In reality, the sides don't slant like that. It's pretty much straight on, but what can you do? Overall, this thing just slaps hard, no joke. You could convert anyone to the Church of Speed Champions with this set. Like, I'm thinking going door to door. Hmm? Excuse me, sir stroke madam. Do you have a moment to talk about our Lord and Savior, the Lego Speed Champions Mercedes G63 AMG set number 76924? Slam. I'm sure we all can relate to that situation on the given end. But we've laid the groundwork, we've met the starting grid, so let's get into it and go over the race results, starting with last place, bringing up the rear as a surprise to no one, is the Aston Martin AMR 2024, also known as the Aston Martin Formula One car. Despite Despite a strong showing in qualifying, it crashed out at turn one due to a very boring build, wrong color, and the final product looks, if anything, slightly worse than the McLaren Formula One car from March. And did we mention it's the wrong color? And don't forget that it's definitely the wrong color. The penultimate position then goes to the Mercedes SL63 AMG. The 6.3 liter twin turbo was simply not enough to outdrive the relatively boring build and an overall cartoony kind of final look, in my opinion. And with the bottom two out of the way, our first podium position is going to go to the Aston Martin safety car. While the color is wrong again, there are some really great techniques and parts in a unique color. Well, it's unique for speed champions. We don't get a lot of green in these parts. These parts, literally, oh, good pun. You could easily leave most stickers off and create a really clean green Aston Martin Vantage machine. Uh, you like that, I could tell. You like that. You, you hit the subscribe button, you like that. Yes, more, you hit that, you hit that button. Go ahead, I'll wait. And now on to the top two, the gold and silver, but with a disclaimer, there is a gulf between the top two and the bottom three. It is not even close. The first and second position are heads and tails miles away from the others. But with that said, straight into it, the silver medal second position is going to the G63 AMG. The build was super fun and engaging throughout and the final product speaks for itself. What holds this back for me is the shaping on the hood and the black color scheme, which kind of detracts from the look a bit. I always feel like cars colored black are kind of hiding the design. I wonder if maybe a white would have been better. Not that G-Wagons have much design going on in them anyways, they're pretty boxy. Or, hot take, highlighter yellow for a little G500 4x4 squared action, that could be really cool. It could also be terrible. Maybe black was fine. Actually, anyways. 
but that only leaves one winner and it of course is the Lamborghini Vision Gran Turismo. I love this set. I adore it. This set is very special. I open the box to what looks like a standard Speed Champions experience. I was expecting a pretty standard Speed Champions build. But what I got was anything but standard. From tip to tail, this set is just packed with absolutely insane techniques and details. In front, we have the iconic Y-shaped headlights, Lamborghini's current design ethos, and a cockpit which literally could not sit lower. Moving toward the middle, the body remains narrow, hexagonal, and we can peek at the engine details and also notice the whole car has a slight forward rake to it lovely finally moving rearward your attention is grabbed by the neck with the aggressive rear wing y-shaped taillights and hexagonal exhausts loving it i would bet any money that this has been the most difficult set for the speed champions design team to produce of 2024 but i commend them for it they really really pulled it together here Putting these sets together on my shelf, my eyes are always immediately drawn to the Lamborghini. It is insane and I absolutely love it. But thank you as ever for stopping by. That's going to do it for this round, but be sure to stay tuned because we've got another final short round of the 2024 Speed Champions Grand Prix coming very soon. So definitely stay tuned for that and see ya.